What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new promo that has just been announced and it is going to be the what if promo. Now this promo is quite odd but at the same time quite exciting because if they are releasing players like Rafinha in SBCs, you already know this promo is going to be pretty pretty decent. Now you're not just getting this card, you're also getting a card that has the potential to actually get upgraded by a plus two. Now how it works is with attackers and midfielders, if their team ends up scoring six goals in five games, the card will get an upgrade by plus two. So Rafinha has the potential to go up to an 89 overall. Now, how it works for defenders and goalkeepers, all they need to do is keep one clean sheet in five games and they actually get upgraded by a plus two as well. So quite reasonable, I must say. And for me personally, by just looking at all the cards that's actually been released in this promo, I expect the majority of these cards to actually Actually get upgraded by a plus two overall either way if we are comparing this card to Rafinha's latest in form we are looking at a zero added pace which is very weird but it is what it is he has got a plus two to dribbling a plus five to shooting a plus six sorry not plus six plus seven to passing a plus three to defending and a plus three to physicals as well he is a five foot nine player with high medium work rates four star skill moves and a three star weak foot kind of disappointed they didn't upgrade his weaker foot but it is what it is once again now when it comes down to the chem style the marksman chem style is the way to go boys look how good this card is with the marksman chem style giving him that extra strength that he clearly does need but also giving him that shooting ability that should be incredible so he has got 94 acceleration with a 94 sprint speed so the guy is clearly not a slow player now the shooting ability is 91 attacking positioning 91 finishing 95 shot power 93 long shots 81 volleys with the 87 penalties and if we are looking at shooting traits he doesn't have any but you know it's one of those ones where you know for a fact if you give this guy like a finesse shot trait it would be incredible now his passing ability he's got 86 vision 87 crossing 83 free accuracy 85 short passing 76 long passing with a 93 curve playing this guy in like a cam position could be a little bit questionable because of the long passing but I feel like because of the vision being actually quite high it's not going to be as bad as people actually think it's going to be now the dribbling ability he's got 91 agility 84 balance 92 reactions 95 ball control 99 dribbling with the 84 composure so his dribbling ability looks insane his defensive ability doesn't actually look too bad but I'm not going to really mention him because 51 defensive awareness is not crazy good but it's okay for a win you know now the physicals he's got 91 jumping which is really good for a five foot nine player he's got 91 stamina which means he will be lasting throughout the whole 90 minutes he has got 80 strength with the 81 aggression which is not bad not bad at all now when he comes down to the links he's obviously from the prem and he is also brazilian so you can link this guy up with whoever you want from the premier league and whoever you want from the national from the brazilian nationality so you can link him up with marquinhos Allen, neymar there's so many it's ridiculous but I've gone for Trent and your boy Curtis Jones. I've also got likes of Aguero, De uh, Deco and Allen in this team. I will be playing Rafinha in a 4-4-2 in that striker position, in a 4-2-3-1 in that cam position and also in the ram position. But let's get into these games. Nice little dribbling by him there. Can I give him the ball back? Little turn, really good turn. Can I go for that right-footed freestyle weak foot finish? Very unfortunate that he actually went straight towards the keeper. I could have probably aimed towards the near post there to kind of help him out, but I do want to test out that weaker foot. And I want to see how noticeable it is when it comes down to his shooting ability. Over to Rafinha. Nice. Give it back to Son. Well played. He should make that run up. He is going to make the run up. Come on, use that pace. Try to get him behind. Give it to Aguero. Going to take it very calm. Passing through the little gap there. Oh my god, that's an awful touch. Little fake shot. The guy's not coming towards me, so I'm going to be composed. That's a very hard angle to score at. But yeah, the guy, the way the way the guy was defending, I was like, hold up a second. Let me just take a few touches. Then we try to create this angle. Didn't really work out well, but at least he made that aggressive run into the space. Rafinha. Nice little shielding. Can I swing shit all the way to the other side? That's a beautiful pass. I remember, by the way, I reviewed the 84 rated in form and I hated his passing ability. His passing ability was so bad. Like, he couldn't do any short passes, let alone those long through balls. But this card right here, it looks like he's going to be able to do it. Double way over to him. Nice little touch. Good turn as well. Can I play that through ball to over to Son? Well played. 
Like, okay, to cancel. Let's see that movement. He's going to probably try to make an aggressive run. Where is he going to make it? He's going to make it up. He's going to run down. He is going to run down. That's well played from him. Can I get him the ball? Ah, I just took a, li a little bit too long. I was kind of focusing right there just to see how he kind of moves in that striker position, which is what I expected, to be fair, him being, you know, quite aggressive with the pace that he has and with those high medium work rates. Curtis. Oh, to Rafinha. Should we take an early finesse shot? It's going to be at a decent distance, but it's going to go straight out of the keeper. Hold up a second. Should we go for it again? Why not, boys? Why not? It's going to be a very nice angle, and he's going to hit the post this time. Rafinha, straight through the middle, boys. Straight through the middle. Well played. Good pass. Is he going to kind of catch up to us? He should be able to. There you go. Give it to him right there. Oh, what a touch. Hill to hill. Round the keeper. Are we going to get the first goal with him? Yes, we are. RBA, straight over to him. Well played. Gonna try to take it calm. Nice little dribbling. Take it calm again. He uses his strength a decent amount. That's something I do like to see, especially with that marksman chem style actually helping it out. Ball roll. Gonna go for the. Okay. I tried to go for the ball roll and then the RVA across, but he just didn't work at all when he just went straight towards the keeper. Oh, to Son. Give it back to Jones. Give it to Rafinha. Give it to Son. Well played. This is beautiful football. Give it back to him. Fake shot into the open space. Ball roll. Hill to hill. Lack of care to cancel. Hill to hill. Oh my god. I tried to get it through Schmeichel's legs, but as soon as I saw him come out, I started kind of panicking a little bit. Nice. Well played. Oh, it's beautiful. No, through the legs as well. No, if we didn't get stopped, we could have gone on for a little skill run. But boys, I'm telling you right now, the dribbling is always going to be nice when it comes down to Rafinha. I remember he's 84 as well being really, really good. So I kind of expected near enough the exact same, but slightly better. And it really is. Give it to him right here. Or play. Good shielding. Ball roll around him. Good shielding as well, referee. Oh, that's not... No, we've been robbed. We have been robbed. I even took my hands off the control. You cannot tell me that is not a free kick or a penalty, whichever one it was. No way. Curtis, give it to Rafinha. Keep going. He's gave up the ball in a stupid situation. I'm going to smash it towards the near post and we are not going to get the finish I wanted. There's no way he just like kind of tapped that towards the near post. I wanted like a full pelter and I did put a decent amount of shot power into that as well. Nice little pass there. We're going to tell Rafinha to make that run. I'm going to try to use his pace to his full potential and get him in behind. Little ball roll. Let's go for the bridge skill move. Ball roll again. This is going to be a hard angle, but we're not going to get the goal. Come on. That's little bridge skill move there. Maybe I can go for a quick one too. I can. I'm going to go for a first time shot. And that should 100% be going in because that angle right there is guaranteed. Give it to him right there. Go for that quick one, two. Try to get him in behind. Should we go for a finesse shot? Why not? At the end of the day, this is the Rafinha I know. The, the person that I saw with the 84 rated in form, where his left stick, uh, left stick, sorry, left foot was a beauty, a beauty of a strike on it. Like, it was one of those ones where I was so confident on the left foot every single time. But I'm telling you right now, boys, that weaker foot is looking exactly the same as the 84 rated in form. It's still like a big, big struggle to try to get, like, a decent angle on it because of so many people like read this guy on his left foot everyone knows Rafinha is left footed so it's like what's the point of reading the right if it's only a like freestyle weak foot that's the problem people are gonna have when it comes down to actually doing this card Rafinha I see that through all the way to the top he might be slightly offside but it's a very good ball oh my god it's actually onside hold up second there's a guy eyes oh, gave up he's literally gave up he saw he was 2-0 in the 91st minute so he was like oh i might as well put down the controller but what a ball by rafinha i'm telling you boys right now you cannot do that with the 84 rated in form it was something i always always struggled with when actually trying to pass with him it was just so so horrible and it's always nice to see that this card has has got like a really big increase when it comes down to his passing ability so it is time to review him two games played three goals scored and we didn't end up getting an assist of him but it is what it is boys now this card right here is currently going for 400k plus do i believe an 87 overall rafinha card is worth 400k no the reason I say no is because the difference between this card right here and the 84 rated in form wasn't huge. And you know how the 84 rated in form right now is going for like a decently cheap price. Why would you not just go ahead and get that card and not get this card? That's the difference between the two. Like for passing ability, 100% understandable because this card for passing, much better. But if we're talking about pace, 
no difference. If we talk about shooting, barely any difference. I noticed this card is slightly better when it comes down to shooting, but he's not going to, you know, take it onto a next level kind of thing, you know? Dribbling ability, pretty much the exact same as the 84. That's what's, like, breaking me, breaking me to say because I want this card to be insane. I want this card to be insanely good, but it just wasn't. Like, the difference between the 84 and this card right here is not worth the price he's actually going for. I can tell you that right now. But the thing is, right, this is the what-if promo we're talking about. So if Leeds end up scoring six goals in five games, he gets a plus two upgrade. And we never know. It, he could turn into an absolute beast. But for now, 400k for this card, not worth it for me personally. Either way, let's get into the ratings. Pace, I'm going to give it the exact same as the 84, saying the stats are exactly the same. And I didn't notice that big of a difference between the two as well. So for Pace, I am going to give it a 9 out of 10. Shooting ability, once again, not didn't notice a huge difference between the two. The left foot is still very good. The right foot is still a bit of a sticky one. But for shooting, I am going to give it, I would say, like an 8.4 out of 10. Passing ability is the only thing that you're going to notice between the two that is so, so improved. It's ridiculous. So for passing on this card, I am going to give him, I would honestly say, like an 8.1, 8.2 out of 10. It went from a 5 out of 10 to an 8.1 out of 10. Insane. Absolutely insane. And for the dribbling ability, left stick dribbling is good. R1 dribbling is good. Skill moves still don't feel like they are like kind of, you know, kind of natural on him, which is a very big struggle to actually see. But it's one of those ones where once you get used to that dribbling, you're going to start, you're going to start know how to kind of use him in a way. So for dribbling, I am going to give it, I'll say like an 8.4, 8.5 out of 10. And for the physicals, the physicals are going to be better than he's 84 rated in form just because I'm actually giving him a marksman chem style on the 84 i gave him a finisher chem style which obviously doesn't touch physicals at all and with the marksman giving it like a plus 10 it's obviously going to be better so for physicals i am going to give him i'll probably say like a i'll probably say like a 7.8 7.9 out of 10 it wasn't insane but he was using it time to time but an overall rating out of 10 i am going to give this card i would honestly say right now probably like an 8.3 and 8.4 that's that's not good enough for a 400k player boys is not good enough in my eyes but i hope you guys did enjoy the review if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace